Well, if Edson Barboza is a little bit underappreciated right now, he will not be at career's end. This is truly one of the elite strikers that this division or any division in UFC history has ever seen. And I look to add another highlight to the reel here tonight, Chief. He's got a highlight reel a mile long. A guy that has finished multiple fights with leg kicks, spinning back kicks. He just brutalizes opponents. You watch guys just melt in front of Edson Barbosa from the damage and the intensity of which he fights with. To me, it's the kicking game of Edson Barbosa that stands out above everything else. He does have great boxing, but the body kicks with no wind-up on the left side and the leg kick on the right side is just truly something to behold. And now training full-time out of South Florida, Edson Jr. Barbosa back in the octagon here tonight. Edson Barbosa. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here's the world beater, Hamzat Chimaev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon. Whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamzat Chimaev that thinks separates him for most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Edson Junior Barbosa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Do it. All right, Hamzat Chimaya back on the proven ground, and you can hear the crowd response with everything that this man does. If he gets a takedown, a huge pop. If he lands a jab, a huge pop. A lot of people feel like in this matchup, though, Hamzat's going to be trying to take the fight to the ground and to work his submission game from there. Let us see how Hamzat approaches the early portions of this particular round. from the technician Edson Barboza. No longer training in the New Jersey area, now at American Top Team in South Florida, and really finding his groove under Pohuka and the rest of the crew there in Coconut Flea. Oh, huge knee to the head, perfectly timed in place. Shimaev's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. If you get a guy hurt that bad, you cannot back off. All right, 
right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Oh, he's got his back. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Shimaev's right back to the full mount. Big ground and bomb. Final seconds of round one. Oh. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Shemaya gets caught by the inside leg. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have enough. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Oh, that's big. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Misses again with a right punch. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that opponent. Oh! Three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, nice work with the knee there by Hamza Chimai. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard right there. Oh, oh, slams him to the canvas with authority. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively. Oh! Oh, both of them are landing back. Oh, he goes with the punch and right lands. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent guard. Yep, he's trying to hit the guards here. Oh, and that looks tight. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. 
30 seconds to go. She might have grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. All right, feet on the hips here. Lands the grounded pound strike. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets ah, through. Ah. Round three next. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Working off the jab, it's good. Trying to set up that counterattack. Big shot to the head. Another punch to the head. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, very close fight, at least in terms of the significant strikes landed. Immediately gets the underhook. Keeping busy here in the clinch. Switch knee lands to the body. Oh, big elbow. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Shamaya gets the single leg takedown. Well played. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Let's go, bro. Stay busy on the ground for me. Stay Pretty busy. good work with the strikes here off of his back by Edson Jr. Barboza. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Chimaya. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the out. Oh, 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 oh. One and done. Oh, my goodness. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's going to be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. We now go inside the Octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of the third round for the winner by submission. And still, the undisputed USC welterweight champion of the world, Hamzat Boris Kamaya. All right, so Hamza Chimaya at his suffocating best tonight as he gets it done by submission. This dude's good, man. He's really good, and he's really good everywhere. And it's no surprise how he wins because he can do everything. Tonight we saw him get a submission victory, and against a tough guy,